Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm going to be doing a reaction to Madonna mocking God and babies. We don't know, Madonna recently did a photo shoot with Vanity Fair. If you don't know Madonna, since it's 2023, I know some of you younger people see her probably on the news or social media, but you don't quite know her. But a, a lot of the older generation knows her. In the 1984, she had a song called Material Girl. 2005, she had another song called Hung Up. 2022, Frozen on Fire. Even though I'm not a fan of her work, I am familiar with her. Typically because she did date one of my favorite rappers, Tupac Shakur. But we're not going to talk about her life or career. We're going to talk about how these celebrities are in bed with Satan. And instead of worshiping the guy who gave them life in the first place, they rather mock him. Six and seven tell us that God will not be mocked. Do not be deceived. God will not be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. You all know that New Age teaching, whatever you put out in the universe, you'll come back. Well, God said it first. The word of God said it first. And you know, whatever you sow, whether it be mocking God, doing bad things to people, it's going to come back. It's going to come back on you. In the 1980s, you already see her allegiance with the New World Order when she's sporting that jacket. And this one, she was hot. Everybody would listen to Madonna at the time. So it didn't surprise me when I seen the pictures online about her having this photo shoot mocking the Last Supper or wearing their, or wearing their uh, rosary in the robe. Let me tell you something. These days and time, people, in order to stay relevant, they have to do what their master the satanic master, the Satan, the Satan, the deceiver, tell them to do in order for them to stay recent. But see, the thing about it is, with these celebrities, they, they feel like they're in too deep. They feel like they came too far to turn around now. You know, we sang that song in church. But what I would like to point out is this, that it's time to repent. Yes, you was famous in the 80s. Yes, you had a lot of songs and you traveled everywhere. You did a lot, but it's you're getting up in age now. And whatever you're doing, you're not going to last forever. God is patient, yes, with us. He was patient with me. I seen it. Man, the first 20 years of my life, and God could have took me out. Out of all the things I said and I did, but he saved me when I was 21. God is patient with us, yes. But it come a time where he's going to take us out. He's going to tell us, listen, it's time to come home. You're doing too much evil. Or you might say, well, why God won't just destroy all of them? God don't have to do that if he don't want to. It's not his will that any man shall perish by all to come to repentance. He's patient. It's time to repent, Madonna. If you don't believe me, that hey, God will forgive your sins, look at some scriptures right here. First John 1 John 1.9 said that we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Colossians 3 and 13 tell us, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. This is concerning Christians, but also people who are just coming to the faith that probably don't consider themselves Christians, you know, because they, they have certain flaws. But the Bible said we ought to forgive because Christ forgave us. His forgiveness is eternal. Eternal life we gain through his forgiveness. Our forgiveness towards people carries our conscience from being hardened and holding on to grudges and eventually hating people, despising people. We realize that we're forgiven eternally, so we want to extend that same grace to others. That's what forgiveness is all about. He forgave us eternally, and he want to forgive her eternally, for eternity, and other celebrities, and not just people who are involved in the occult or Illuminati on the celebrity scale, those that behind the scene that, that, that are doing things that cause these influences on people, those that may be in your local community that are dealing with these same issues, whatever sin it may be, God wants to forgive you and save you and set you free. 
But if you still want to commit blasphemy, you still want to continue in your sin, if you want to continue down this road that leads to hell, then eventually you're going to, in hell, you're going to lift your eyes. Ephesians 1 and 7, it says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespass according to the riches of his grace. Luke 6 and 37, Judge not. And you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Now, judge not don't mean that I shouldn't be speaking on this topic. Judging is basically saying, meaning that I shouldn't judge you for eternity. I can't look at this person and say, you're going to hell for your sins or because of who you are. I can warn you about hell. I can preach to you about hell and warn you. But I can't necessarily say, you're going to hell. As if that you're going to go there right now. I can say if you don't repent, you're going to go to hell. On down the line, God can save that person that we're preaching to. Also, the judgment is speaking on unrighteous and unlawful judgment. Assuming, in a sense. Saying things that we know nothing about, really. Condemning people for no reason sometimes. Or based on our own thoughts and impulses. But we must forgive because we will be forgiven. God will forgive you. No don't know. What would it stop for when would it when would it, what would it take for people to to stop blaspheming God? These other religions some way get a pass. Yes, I know the Muslims will retaliate if you disrespect Allah or Muhammad. But as Christians, we're commanded to love those. We're commanded to pray for those. Yeah, somebody came to my door, my bad. But yeah, we're commanded to pray for those that do these things. Because God in His grace will draw people back to Him, close to Him. And you'll be surprised some of these celebrities grew up in church, man. They grew up in church. They knew God. They seen the power of God in certain cases. They seen a drunk uncle come to Christ. They they seen what God could do. But when the enemy dangled this bait in front of you or show you the fame, show you certain opportunities in life and you take them, then you get engulfed in the attention, the hype, the celebrity worship, the money coming. You pretty much have everything you want at your fingertips. You know, almost as if you got a God complex. You're not necessarily thinking about your upbringing or your morals at that point. Focus on your career. I solely believe that it's possible to be a famous celebrity and be a true born again believer. I sure believe that. I also believe that God, grace, and His mercy will extend to those no matter your, no matter how rich you are or your celebrity status. But if you choose the way to lead to death instead of that way of the eternal life, it seems like it, on that level. And if anybody see this video, comment and let me know what you think. As it seems like on that level of stardom, it's harder for them after they took the bait after they went through the rituals or whatever they do up there it seems like it's harder for them to come back you know come back to righteousness and peace it's almost seen that way but see they don't understand you don't necessarily got to be a church per se to pray or to ask God I'm quite sure it's sometimes that you are alone in your room or with your significant other you know whether your handlers are watching or not watching or whatever whatever is it in your mind you can pray to God in your mind you can pray to God in your heart God I know this is wrong forgive me help me to get out of this situation forgive me Lord forgive me Lord help me get out of this situation it's a prayer away he just a prayer away and but the thing about it is you can't be distracted or lied to continuously in your mind or whether it be to other people that there is no way out you have to be willing to lose any and everything because when that life talk, clock ends, when time is up, instantaneously we go to our destination. Instantaneously we go to heaven or hell. Instantaneously. He cannot continually be mocked. You will reap what you sow. Whether you're a Christian, celebrity, whether you're fake, 
fiance or fake pastor, whatever you're doing in this life, eventually it's going to take place what God is going to judge. That's all I want to say on that. I want to take time to pray for Madonna and those that are involved in things like this, similar, direct, directly involved in it or indirectly. So those of you that come across this and you're a true believer that God can say, I want you all to pray with me. Father God, in Jesus' name, I pray for her. Madonna and those that are involved in that, I ask you, God, that the power of darkness shall no longer have control over her. Break them free, God, according to your will. And if they are willing to come to you, God, I pray and ask you to protect them, God, in Jesus' name. But also, God, these influences that they are doing, the rituals that they are doing, the influences that they are trying to place on people through spells and rituals, God, I pray they become null and void in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, to protect all of us, true, all of the true believers with your Holy Spirit, with your blood, God, give us boldness. To stand for righteousness and bring peace and reconciliation to those who separated from you, God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey, um, I would like for you all to subscribe, share, like this video, push it through the algorithm. But if you want to support me, you want to become a monthly supporter of me. You want to see me, uh go from behind the camera to on the streets and traveling and actually talking to people about Christ, support me on Patreon. Support me on Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description. But I also just want to say thank you all for watching. Peace.